Welcome back everybody. Today we'll be answering one very important question. What is a pen mouse? It is what's in front of me here today. It comes in at $19. So the first thing to do to figure out what a pen mouse is, is to unbox the pen mouse. So in this specific pen mouse package, we have the pen mouse on top. It looks like a stand, a little USB receiver, and an included soft mouse pad to use the pen mouse on. Thoughtful. It's not a big mouse pad. That's probably the smallest mouse pad I've ever seen, but they do include one. I'll throw that out and uh, let's take a look at what's in the box. As I mentioned, there is this included stand that you, I'm, I'm assuming just dock it on while you're not using it. There's a USB receiver because it is wireless. I'll go ahead and plug this into the computer. Boom. And uh, there is the pen mouse itself and that's everything that comes in the package. And this is an interesting little device. That's probably how it goes in. So taking a look at the pen itself, on one side you have a stylus, the other side is the sensor, so you'd hold it like this, and the stylus is on this side if you need to use a stylus product, I mean, or like <laughs> stylus product, a touch screen or something. Uh, you have a DPI switch here to change the sensitivity, obviously. You have a scroll wheel, this is your right click, and then you have your left click on your thumb. It's all pretty ergonomically laid out, but it does feel pretty cheap. It's definitely just a, a plastic shell right here. Looks like that is where you put the AAA battery in. So let me just throw that in. Oh yeah, and then uh, that lights up. Can you see that? Oh, there you go. That was pretty cool. How do I get it to do that? Yeah, that's pretty cool. Now I have three different things I'm gonna try out with this live for you guys. So let me go ahead and record my screen. All right, so the first thing I'll be looking at is mouseaccuracy.com. I'm gonna bring the laptop forward a little bit. You're gonna be able to see it, that's okay. Um, what mouseaccuracy.com is, it basically pops up these little these little dots you have to click, so it just um, detects how fast you can click, just to see how fast I can move this around and how accurate. So let's do normal and medium. Let's just go for it. Oh, I'm missing a few now. Okay, how'd I do? I clicked 13 and I misclicked three times. It's not the easiest thing. I guess it might just be I'm not used to the sensitivity yet, so I don't know exactly how far to go if I wanna click something. I assume you get better with that over time. All right, so for this one, I've loaded up GIMP, click pencil, and see what I can do with a pencil on GIMP. So let's get it over here. So normally, if drawing or doing anything like this with a mouse or a trackpad is pretty annoying. Oh, it's not that much better with this. I just wrote that. Let's do a little smiley face. A little lopsided smiley face. That's weird. Let me try, you know, I'm gonna make the size a little bit smaller and see if I can, um, do a signature or something. How's that size? Let's go even smaller. Yeah, that's good. So I'm gonna just do my signature and see how it translates. So it's going kind of that way, so let me try. So if I look down and do it, and then I look back up, it gets all wonky. You really have to like watch as you do it. I would say this is marginally better than I'd be doing on a mouse. Certain things are easier. Um, like really turning corners in a signature while you're writing is easier, but like keeping it on track and everything isn't that easy. So that was GIMP. And the last thing I wanna try is to load up Minecraft and see how it deals with like FOV and uh, first person viewing. So it's pretty easy to like get a feel for looking around. You, that sensitivity is really high. Shush, shush up. Let's um, let's change the control sensitivity seventy four. All right. Oh, it's lagging because I'm recording. I didn't even think about that. So let's try using the left click. 
I don't know what it's doing with the outline of the pig there, but... Okay, so accuracy actually isn't that easy. To be perfectly honest. Yeah. Let me try to get some long shots. Get that black sheep. Oh! Sniped. Try over there. Need more on it. So this is definitely usable, but not preferred. So conclusion time. This is an interesting product. Uh, the idea of it is good. If it was a better version of this product and I had time to get used to it, I'm sure it'd be really great at a lot of things. But from my perspective as a beginner with this exact one, it's just okay at a lot of things. It's okay as a mouse. It's okay for gaming and it's okay for drawing. Uh, I think for me, the main use will be for digital signatures. If I have to sign something, I can just whip it out and use it. Uh, but for like graphic designers who it's really meant for and stuff, they're probably gonna get something nicer or like a drawing tablet or something like that. Other than that, thank you for watching. Subscribe to see more content. And as always, stay classy. Yeah!